Good morning, guys. So we're heading out on the road. Um, today, as you can see by the title, I'll be doing a mukbang, um, and I'll be doing this. Is it a challenge? You'd call it a challenge where um, I'll, the person in front of me choose what I'm gonna eat. Yeah, so basically I'm gonna be doing a walking version. So I'm just gonna walk into the I think I'm gonna do three restaurants or three fast food places. Um I'm gonna do McDonald's, Nando's and maybe Subway. I like Subway. And yeah, and then I'm gonna come home and then I'm gonna do a mukbang and uh um let's talk mental health yeah so we're gonna do that today so come along with me guys remember it's a girl island girl shan like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching and if you just coming on the journey with me guys remember to subscribe to the video remember to like the video and tell a friend yeah so let's go so i'm just walking to the bus stop at the moment hopefully the bus don't let me so I'm going to go catch Uber but anyways let's go guys I'll see you guys when I get to the first restaurant I think I'm gonna do um, Nando's first because it's early I highly doubt anyone is gonna order anything much but let's see yeah see you guys all right guys so I'm inside the mall um, I decided that I'm gonna do the the, ch the challenge in here. Um, there are a set of fast food restaurants outside the mall as well. That's where I was gonna do it at first, but I ended up coming inside to get a few things in Poundland. So I'm just gonna do it in here. So we're going down, and I'm gonna go to. As you can see there are plus two restaurants in here so there's McDonald's so I'm gonna go McDonald's first then I think I'm gonna go Subway and then I'm gonna go inside and go with Nando's because there's no Nando's in here so let's go to McDonald's I'm hoping I get no shitty I'm hoping I get a shitty order because girl I'm hungry so I really like to eat whatever it is that I'm gonna get but yeah let's see what happens and let's see how friendly these um, cashiers are so let's see oh Jesus I wonder what that woman there had up. Me eat coffee. I don't drink coffee. Guys, I don't drink coffee. So, I'm literally gonna wait until somebody else comes in. Because I don't want no coffee. I don't drink coffee. Anything with coffee gives me palpitations. And I'm not about that. Not about that. Alright guys, so somebody has come in and I'm nervous. Honestly, I'm nervous. Me? Nervous. But let's go. So that person is ordering. No idea what they will order. Nervous! <laughs> As I said, I am hungry, so I hope it's something nice, them other. Because me really and truly now I can't take the foolishness. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. Hello. 
clarify, can I just have, can I have whatever the person in front of me just ordered? Okay, I don't have anything on this one because I just loved it. But I can do the one off that one, yep. that one. That's fine. Um, oh. Here you go. It's uh, 478. Pardon? Uh, 478. 478. Yes. Okay. Oh, that's cheap. That doesn't sound like a meal. Oh my god. Yeah. So that came up with four pounds What the hell was that? No idea. Let's see. Thank you. So let's take a look at whatever I'm gonna get. So I hope we can see. We can see. One veggie deluxe, one medium fries. Veggie deluxe. <laughs> Guys, I'm literally gonna have to order something else that I've done this because what the hell is a veggie deluxe? Who orders that, anyways? But of course, the, the, the cashier was not bad. She was nice. So, gonna collect that and then on to the next. Yeah. So guys, so you see the lady that was in front of me that I said I heard she said coffee and I chose not to go. Guys, you don't want to try a thing that lady ordered. Mind you, you see if I never <laughs> decide to not go I'll not fall to bone with that spend this morning. Anyways guys, we're walking past KFC, but I'm not gonna go to KFC because these people, these people can see zone good. Why well, look like subway door up in here? These people can see door nine. So it don't make no sense to do KFC. Um, subway open, but it doesn't look like a lot of persons went there. So I'm not gonna go to subway in here. I'm gonna go outside. Going back outside because usually outside is more busy than inside when it comes down to the fast food places I think so I'm gonna go outside to do Nando's and um, Subway yeah hey guys so let me just show you this strip of fast food place so outside has like better choices so that they're all along the line here is fast food restaurants and then my favorite restaurant in the United Kingdom Nando well apart from Turtle why not does look like you don't want me it people Nando's not want me now I'm gonna give me two seconds there Y'all give me two minutes, okay? So people, they are actually open. It says Monday to Thursday, 10, 30, 11.30 and it is currently 12 o'clock. So, let's go. Just speak to somebody and Are you eating in or taking away? Eat again. Table two, yeah? Oh, no, I was. Oh, it was a cheat, I'll see you. Came in and have a table. Hello. Yeah. Oh, he's one, yeah. I'm not eating in. Hello. Um, take away. Take away. Do you need yeah. a menu? Um, no. 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 If you just head up to this too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, let's see how this goes, guys. Hello. So, takeaway. Yeah, takeaway. Yeah, yeah. like? um, can I have whatever the person before me ordered? Is that possible? Yeah, one second. So, exactly, exactly what they ordered. Exactly yeah. what they ordered. Don't tell me what it is. Just <laughs> tell me the cost. Hopefully, it's not too much. <laughs> Twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, and um, yeah. Let me see if I'm gonna have to do a transfer, guys. Cause yeah, it's twenty twenty-five. Okay, give me two seconds. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I just finished paying for everything. Uh, I'm just gonna tell you guys what I got. Or should I wait until I get to? I don't even know what it is that I got either. I think. I'm gonna wait until I get home. And I don't think I'm gonna get anything else. Because the, the receipt is quite long. So I think this person ordered a lot of things, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So I'm gonna wait until I get to I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. But let's see. Yeah, I thought I was gonna do Subway, but I don't think so because um, Subway is like mainly sandwiches, and I'm not feeling for any sandwich at the moment, any bread. So, yeah. And I love Nando's, guys. So, hopefully, this person ordered something good. But we'll see. I'll catch you guys when I get home, doing a mukbang um, and doing a chat. You know, having a little mental health chat. Yeah, see you guys. Okay guys, so reach home. Okay guys, so I'm home and did a few little things first, but now we're gonna start. Yeah, so we're gonna do a mukbang while I have a little discussion around um let's see if I can see have a small little discussion around um mental health and you know preserving your mental health yeah let's see how the talk goes all right so first i'm just gonna take a look at the things that i bought things that i got when i did the um having what the person in front of me is having yeah so i think this was a veggie deluxe this is from mcdonald's and I got two ketchup, I think this is a medium price, cool, may I show you my good and I'm going to go and warm it up because I am going to eat and I can't eat cold food, all right, then yeah, a vegetable deluxe, let's see what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I'm presuming this is fish. And to be honest, the last time I got a fish burger from McDonald's, it wasn't good. But hopefully this is different. But yeah, that's what I got from McDonald's. Veggie deluxe and um, medium fries. And then from my favorite restaurants in the UK one of it and turtle bay I let's see what we got so I have no idea what is in this and I didn't look but let's see so the first thing is is this spicy rice I really hope it is yes I love spicy rice I love spicy rice. Well, spicy rice. Love that. Oh, to a good start. There's another box. Oh, I have this fries. And it's this peri peri fries. I'm so excited. This is a good one. This is a good one. So, Nando's peri peri fries. 
everything. Yeah, and they're spicy rice. Love it, love it, love it. Now, this is chicken. And it says, can somebody tell me what it says? I think it says butterflies, butterfly thighs. So I think this is deboned um, thighs. Yes, it is. And it's hot. The level of spice is hot. And there we go. Grilled chicken. And I'm so happy for this because this, this was a good one. This was a good one. Big up the girl that was in front of me in Nando's that ordered this. Love you for this. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna warm this food up and I'm gonna come back because we're gonna be eating while we're talking. Not good etiquette, but we do it, yeah? Okay, guys, so I'm back and let me just show you what I have here. So I've got the spicy rice from Nando's, I've got the chicken, I've got some ketchup, I've got um, McDonald's fries and the burger from McDonald's. Um, I'm gonna, I'm saving my peri peri fries and the rest of the chicken to have later. But this is what we're gonna grub on while we chat, all right? Um, before I start though, I have some Nando sauce that I'm gonna put on my chicken and I love guys if you are in, in in the UK you need to try Nando's if you haven't tried it yet these are the sauces that I'm gonna put on the chicken so this is lemon and herb and wild herb lemon and herb yeah and wild herb really nice really really nice but anyways so on to the topic that we're gonna be discussing so as I said, we're going to be having a little discussion on mental health, preserving, maintaining, or um, how do I say, getting back, I don't know. Yeah, but we're going to tap in a little bit on mental health. Yeah. So I'm going to start off by saying, so I have a little booklet here that I wrote some things in and it says let's talk mental health value your, value yourself above anything or anyone else and um that is like a very very important statement and if you just take a little while to think over it understand it analyze it i know it's just a simple little sentence but it means a lot and it says a lot in that little sentence as well so i'm gonna read it this time a little bit slower and I want you to just relax, take a minute and breathe and just listen or repeat it in your mind or out loud, whichever way you want to do it, yeah? So it says, value yourself above anything or anyone else, yeah? You are important to you and you are most valuable to you all right so let's get into this little talk so the first thing that we're gonna talk about or whatever is what what is mental health honestly I, I I didn't even look it up or anything I'm just gonna go with the flow what is mental health and um, I for me I think mental health is maintaining your or what is good mental health good mental health is you being able to maintain your happiness your peace um, in your own space or even in space in the space of others yeah maintaining your happiness and your peace to me that's what good mental health is being comfortable with yourself in your body all of that I think that has to do with mental health no matter the space that you're in whether it's at work whether it's at home in a relationship whatever situation yeah so to me that's what good mental health is all right so first of all we're going to identify what what are stressors so 
I think that um, stress sometimes is a big part of mental health. A big that affects our mental health. Yeah. So identifying stressors. What caused you to be stressed? I've asked the question and I want you to think about it. I want you to take a little time and think about it. what does that mean to you and identify your stressors. So I have about six points here or seven that I written down for maybe it's for me and you can identify with it as well. Yeah. So the first point I have is that things or people that cost you your happiness. Remember, as I said before, good mental health is you being able to be happy with yourself in whatever situation, relation, wherever you are. Yeah? So, things that cause you your happiness or people that cause you your happiness are stressors and affects your mental health. Number two, spaces are people that prevent you from being you. So, when you have to be in a surrounding and you have to be pretending and you are you're it's like you're just in a little shell you can't be you and every time you be you it's it's a it causes problems or you know persons are like oh. yeah anything whether it is work relationship friendships as well yeah Spaces that drains your physical, drains you physically and mentally. Those are areas that cause stress. Yeah, physically, when you're done, you can't go no more because sometimes physically you're tired because mentally you're tired as well. Yeah, your brain can't manage anymore, so your body begins to yeah deteriorate as well and mentally. Yeah, you have spaces that will mash up your mentality and when I say spaces again spaces doesn't have to mean physical physical spaces only friendship relationship work yeah anywhere anything um, routines that make you feel stressed continuously so Anything will drag you down and make you feel drained and make you feel like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. And oh my gosh, this is just too much on me. Yeah. So daily routines, if it's work routine, yeah. Areas of stressors, yeah. Spaces that causes you to become bitter, angry, or even lowers your self-esteem. And again, when I say space, I don't mean physical space. I mean um, friendships, relationships, any kind of shit. Yeah? Cause you that kind of anger. It's not good for you. It is a area, it, it's an area of stress. Yeah? In situations where you are continuously being used. All right, so this one is a tough one because sometimes we are in situations and we don't even know that you're being used. But sometimes you can pick up on a little hints when it's you. You're continuously doing, doing. You're the one doing, doing, doing. And you're not getting back the same. Whether it's from a friend, whether it's from relationships, whether it's at work, whether it's at, whether it's just general. Yeah? Across the board. Family. Mm, yeah. Get on with it. Alright? Move out of that space. Once you identify that that is happening, take steps to come out. But I'll... I'll get there yeah so now that you've identified your stressors whether it's among the list that I've made or you can make your own list yeah I'll give you a little time let us pause
So have you written down your areas of stresses? Have you identified your areas of stresses? You have? Okay. So let's go. move on now. So after you've done that, how do you deal with these things? All right. So another thing that I have here is that um, talk to someone. Yeah? Talk to someone. And when I say talk to someone, I mean someone you trust, someone who values you, someone that you value as well, because it has to be as an equal, yeah? Um, and sometimes, um, when we are suffering from stressors or we're suffering mentally, Sometimes all it takes for some persons, not everyone, is just for them to get whatever is affecting them off their chest. Yeah? So if you can talk to somebody, whether it's a close friend, whether it's um, your spouse, whether if it's someone at work, because you, ha you, you, you can have um, valuable relationships, you know, outside of um, your girlfriend boyfriend husband wife kind of relationships you can have um valuable relationships with persons who you can really relate to and talk to yeah so if you have persons like that it's good find them let them know that hey look here i need to have a talk i need to chat yeah and sit down whether it's at home outside go have a little walk with them talk it over because sometimes that that's what that's all that we need sometimes and it's not with everyone but yeah and I, I mentioned spouse and um, I want to say that um, sometimes the stress might be with the spouse whether your husband your wife your boyfriend your girlfriend whatever yeah sometimes the stress can be there so if that is a problem you seek help elsewhere yeah also there is um, seeking professional help so if you feel like just talking to your friends or talking to somebody that you trust or whatever won't help seek professional help yeah you have people that are trained who went to school get them degree their masters and everything just to be counselors, psychiatrists, psychologists, whatever it is, seek help. Yeah? Reach out to somebody, let them know that, hey, look, I need to do this and I need to do that. And yeah, seek help if you think you need professional help because sometimes not just one day talk or a two day talk can help. Sometimes we need professionals who are able to break us down to our smallest self so that we can build ourselves again yeah sometimes that is exactly what we need and maybe those around us in our immediate circles can't do that for us so we need to seek professional help yeah um the next thing that i have is i said create a positive space around you and this is very 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 important because you see negativity mm -mm. you see living and being in a negative space that can drag you the down it can drag you down so if you identify spaces or errors situations relations that of a negative environment move away from it create your own positive space yeah it's very important that you do that yeah when I was at home um, what I did was that um, I created a small little meditation area in my room um, I don't do it often, but I must say once when I started doing it, it meant so much to me Yeah, and it did so much for me. So you guys can do it as well. So create 
it has a little yoga space, a little meditational space, in a little corner in your room, in your living room, wherever. Yeah? Have that space for yourself. Yeah? You go there, you meditate, you journal. In that little space where you can you are able to sit down, think about yourself, think about your life, what you want. Yeah. Sit down and do that. Yeah. And then also if you're a person who like myself I like to exercise as I said the yoga create a little um, gym space at home in our back room on the garage outside around the back wherever it is I, and you don't if you live with others don't pay attention to what they might think you're doing you're doing this for you yeah and you go you do a little exercise and you do a little yoga and you 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 know you 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 maintain your mental health yeah you ensure that you build yourself feel positive feel yeah rejuvenate yourself if you have to do this on a daily basis you do it if it is that you can do it only twice a week once a week whatever the case might be do it yeah go for walks peaceful walks yeah if you're able to yeah um and clear your mind you know listen to music like myself i love 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 music yeah and music tends to get me back to myself like it gets me to focus refocus yeah so if you're a person like myself you can go for a long walk on the road wherever it is that you can go for this walk and listen to some music listen to some motivational speeches or some motivational things and um, there's this podcaster that i listen to his name is eddie panero hope i'm pronouncing that right um, i think i might put his name on the the video here on youtube really 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 nice guy um his podcast is every morning i listen to it before i go to work for in order for me to maintain a positive energy to go to work i listen to him and trust me it has worked so if you can do that you do that also go out if you have friends even if you don't have friends go out you know if you can take yourself on a date if you guys can go on a date as well if you can go to the beach you can go to the hotel wherever you can go go out and come out of the spaces that are dragging you down and enjoy yourself a little have a little nice time yeah build memories that's one of the good things as well build good and fun memories yeah so go out go out have a nice time and simple 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 say for example is a negative space where you really are dragged down come out of it come out completely if you are able to come out of it completely leave go somewhere else totally different where you can build your own positive space yeah because you're it's not worth it you're worth it the negativity isn't worth it yeah guys you're gonna make my food cool hmm? spicy rice nice I love it and let's taste the chicken so I think this is a um, bonus platter of thighs that's what I said right yeah so good so so good so good guys
Alright. And then... I think that was the last thing I had to say. Yeah. The last thing I had to say was... If it's a negative space that you can come out of completely, if it's costing you too much, if it's costing you too much of your happiness, too much of your peace, if it's making you angry and making you unable to function how you are supposed to function, get out of that negative space. Get out. Leave. Yeah? If you're unable to leave immediately, make plans yeah so make plans to leave so once you find out that that negative space is affecting you or once you've identified that it's a negative space and it's affecting you leave make plans to leave yeah once you identify the negative space start making plans to leave yeah so whether if it is in your home if it's in a relationship if it's friendship if it's work if it's just the the environment that you're in yeah make plans to leave and leave because your happiness is very important yeah and and things like these affect people differently yeah so sometimes um for yourself you want to just keep it to yourself and you just want to tough it out you just tough it out and go through yeah but for others sometimes it breaks them down so while you can be strong and if you're that if you're that kind of person hats off to you but still remember it is important to talk about it get help and come out of the negative space as well because at some point in time it is going to affect you also it is important to reach out to others so if you are in a space or a spot now where mentally you are on a stable mentally you are on a balance where you can say yes i'm good i'm happy i'm okay and yeah check on your friends check on your family and remember it's not just about calling them and say hey are you okay hey are you good or how was the day yeah you understand that's not it call them have a conversation get to know what's happening in their lives yeah and if you are able to identify things that are unlike them or things that you think mm, something about this is not right get deeper go deeper because trust me in this time that we're living in especially with this pandemic she and everyone being kept locked away for how long it is affecting people sad enough it is affecting people terribly yeah so reach out to your friends reach out to your strong friends yeah reach out to your strong friends reach out to your family and you who are being affected get help don't think that you're too strong don't think that oh yes i'm strong enough don't think about what people would say about you and say mm, she wants so why is she behaving like that you understand she's seeking attention yeah yeah you're seeking attention yes get the attention that you need guys remember your mental health is very important because if you're not stable mentally you cannot do anything you cannot literally think about it if mentally you are not okay can you physically do anything yeah can you really achieve if you are not mentally okay think about it something to think on I might do a part two because I'm talking about this video is almost 30 minutes and there's an exception on the video that is supposed to be in it but anyways guys thank you for staying tuned with me i hope my little chat gave somebody a little motivation it certainly did help me as much as i was the one talking about it and remember it's your girl island girl shan 
I'm not finished eating, but I'm going to finish eating this. I'm going to catch up on my Netflix series and do my laundry. That's the plan for the rest of the day. But anyways, guys, it's your girl, Island Girl Shan. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Go to 1,000 subscribers, guys. Come on, man. I see you guys watching the video, I know. I see every one of you. Just subscribe. Click the subscribe button, guys. And click the notification bell as well. So you know when I will post a video. Alright, guys. See you. Bye.